as I'm, I think most of you are aware, um, news spread the other day that supposedly Kim Kardashian and Kanye West are getting divorced. Um, it says here, headline for page six, that she's done. Um, again, f talking to my, as a big Kanye fan, hmm, how the hell I start this? Yeah. It's weird, this news, right? Because I think in, in prior years, you know, I probably would have been a lot more concerned about this than I am now. And again, like I said, um, as a big, big fan of Kanye, right, from everything to his albums, to his fashion, to his rants, uh, to his live shows, to his marketing rollouts, I just love everything about the guy. I think he's a, an absolute creative genius, right? He's a force to be reckoned with. Like he's complete, he's like a one of a kind, a complete freak show. Um, but over the years, his antics outside of the arts have really kind of rubbed me up the wrong way, right? The way he sort of kind of constantly manipulated things and twisted things and purposely being a bit of an agent provocateur, even though he doesn't necessarily suffer any of the consequences of stuff that he's done. He sabotaged people's rollouts. He's done all this really snaky backbite stuff like the even the issue with the Sunday service, quiet not being paid, even though it doesn't have nothing to do with him. It might just be a clerical error, but there's so many things involved with Kanye outside of music that really give you an idea that he's a bit of a shitty person and i guess because i was naive as a fan as a stan i kind of overlooked the shitty parts of kanye because he kept giving me so many great amazing moments you know in terms of albums songs features fashion stuff and inspirational um interviews that you kind of overlook those things but when you stop paying attention to that and you sort of started seeing more of the person of kanye sort of showing himself um it's hard to like it's hard to like him and i'm sure in person he's a probably a really warm uh personable guy he's obviously really open in terms of collaborating he's also really generous in terms of keeping up opportunities and putting them in different places i'm sure of that he's got a good track record you can just look up anyone from virgil to jerry lorenzo he's done everything to kind of put people in position but in terms of how he just treats you know him and the influence that he has he's just too reckless and too much of a doof for me at the moment to give a shit about so when i saw this news at first i really couldn't give a shit right i couldn't care less um doesn't concern me it's not my business it's obviously upsetting for them together as a couple and obviously the family no one wants to see a family getting broken up in public but the development since the story has actually evolved later on have been pretty odd to say the least so let's just read the story kim kardashian and kanye west are getting divorced she's done it says the following um, kim kardashian and kanye west are over multiple sources tell page six that the divorce is imminent for the hollywood couple with the Kardashians hiring a divorce attorney was to the stars of laura wessa um they are keeping it low-key out of uh but they are done says a source kim has hired laura wessa and they are in settlement talks and the thing that's interesting about it is that i guess more time than not if this hap if this is sort of being spoken about in this way about the Kardashians, they're very quick to sort of like quell rumors that aren't true. Um, they'll put out a press release. Kim will go on the Instagram stories and write in really small font about something and clear up the rumors. But they're very quick to sort of you know squash things because they've got contacts in you know in most of the big platforms, um, blog spaces and news outlets that they can kind of go to to kind of put out the official words. So the fact that there's been complete silence for the best part of what twenty four hours leads you to believe there's just probably some truth to this. It, it, maybe they're not divorcing and they might be in counseling but it definitely is a little bit of a separation going on in the family um and if you and if you've been keeping an eye on his movements via the you know ktt forum and stuff you would know that he hasn't really been around his family for a while he's kind of popped in and popped out but most of the time he's been spending it in his wyoming march in his wyoming ranch sorry so it does kind of lead you to believe that this is possibly happening and it continues anyway says Kim 40 hasn't been seen wearing a wedding ring and Kanye 43 remained at his 40 million one in Miami branch of the holidays instead of spending it with the collection family who drew criticisms for those extravagant celebrations um Kim got Kanye out of there um Wyoming so they could live separately and quietly and get things sorted out and separate and divorce she's done he said um sources continued and of course a picture of them at the Met Gala looking gorgeous as this well source added that while Kim has done much in the past to protect and help Kanye deal with his mental health struggles now this divorce is happening because kim has grown up a lot okay so they're, they're basically pointing out that, that she's the one that decided to call it quits um which is funny because i remember he put out didn't he put out a tweet earlier on like 
during his whole like weird freak out stage where he sort of said he would have wanted to divorce Kim ages ago himself or something like which is some of the stuff he said about his family in public has just been insane proper um, BDP energy he continues um, she's um, serious about taking the bar exam becoming a lawyer she's serious about her prison reform campaign meanwhile Kanye is taken about running for president and saying I have a crazy S and she just had enough meanwhile separate sources like Kanye who's become increasingly uncomfortable and irritated by the connections over the top reality TV star lives is completely over the entire family he wants to nothing to do with them adding he eventually found their reality show unbearable which is definitely you can understand from a Kanye point of view uh, it's always kind of rubbed me up the wrong way I, I'm not really into the whole like getting into a relationship with somebody and try and change something so I think you know if you marry into the connections you know exactly what they're marrying into which is why I'm kind of a bit of, I'm a fan of them and not a fan of them in that regard because they're not pretending to be anything else other than what they are they're exactly what they say on the tin so the moment you engage this family you know sooner rather down the line something's going to happen they're going to rat you out they're going to leak stories back into the press but you're also going to enjoy you know um, the, the ability to maybe change the fortunes of your family for generations and generations to come they obviously provide a great platform they're quite vain all this sort of stuff whatever it may be but you know exactly what you're getting yourself into so the fact that he was courting her for so long you know the that amazing story about how long Kanye has fancied Kim behind the scenes all these sort of amazing things for him to just turn around and say hey I don't want you to do the show I don't want you to do this you're wearing too your clothing is too skimpy I always found that a little bit manipulative and controlling especially with them because it's not like he was he's marrying a church girl that suddenly you know got her wings and felt confident in her own body she's been this person from minute zero so i've always found that a little bit odd but again maybe a marriage you meant to compromise somewhat who knows it continues kanye west tweeted in july Oh yeah, this is what he said. I've been trying to get divorced from Kim um, since Kim met Meek at the Waldorf pick for the prison reform, seeming to refer to the criminal justice summit attended by Kim and rapper Meek Mill. He also, and again, does that have him saying that he might, she might have fucked him? I don't know. Um, Kim also called manager, manager, sorry, Chris Jenner, uh, Chris Jong Un, which is probably one of the best niggas I've ever heard. Um, amazing, and claimed that the clashes were trying to force him into psychiatric treatment. The Kanye um, reluctantly showed up to Kim's um, ridiculous, extravagant one million plus 40th birthday party in Tahiti um, that, uh, for last October for one day. So the following, he showed up and left early. He wouldn't appear in any of the Instagram shots. And he did was bring um, a hologram of the flower of a connection and then got out of there as fast as he could. The source said the biggest sticking point in the Kimia divorce settlement talks could be over the Calabasas California family home, which underwent a total redesign must by Kanye and was also heralded by architectures does that just as an OA superiority in light. The couple worked on the work all white minimalist home in Belgian designer Alex Verdevoort. They reportedly paid 40 million for the house and spent 20 million on renovations. The source said Kim is trying to get Kanye to turn over Kaiba's house to her because that's where the kids are based and growing up. That's their home. Explaining she owns all the land and adjoining lots around the home, but Kanye owns the actual home. The source added that the advanced settlement talks this isn't the first time they've been talking about a split, but it's time it's way, way more serious. So obviously something's afoot there and something's happening. But then the interesting part of it, right? Oh, Kanye's got that good um vis vim what you call it quilted flannel one. It's the the really, really odd part of it is this. So this is courtesy of, um, let me see this, let's try and get this up here. This is courtesy of It's On Site, right? And they've got this flipping insane video up of this guy that's basically summarizing what's basically happened with Kim and Kanye. And there's another really strange part of the story that kind of throws it all off where supposedly, allegedly, um, the reason why they're splitting is because Kim's, uh, Kanye's extramarital affair with none other than Jeffrey fucking Starr. Again, I don't know if this is true, it could be completely false, but this is absolutely insane. What a wild, wild story. So let me, let's play this video here from It's On Site. Let's hear this kid kind of run up some of the information. West Sheen on Kim Kardashian with Jeffree Star. This rumor has people shook on social media right now. Let's talk about it. So this rumor starts with the fact that Kanye has been living exclusively at him and Kim's Wyoming ranch for the last month while their divorce plays out peacefully, which is what they wanted for their kids. He also spent a lot of time there with his friends over the summer while all of his election stuff was going on. Here comes in this viral TikTok with this girl sharing that she has exclusive information about Kanye's infidelity. Nope. This whole divorce comes as no surprise. Kanye's been hooking up with a very famous beauty guru. Male beauty guru. A lot of people in the scene have known for a while. Continuing, we all know Kanye West has been at his ranch over the summer in the last month, but guess what other beauty guru announced he was moving to Wyoming in August? And now lives there. Jeffree Star. Ava Louise said that her friend is a great lawyer and met with Kim over the summer. 
Apparently, Kim gave the unnamed lawyer all the evidence that Kanye was cheating on her with Jeffree Star and was planning to file for divorce. Also, if Kanye was hooking up with a male beauty guru, him and Jeffree live in the same gated community. And now both happen to live in Wyoming. These are unconfirmed rumors. Did How insane is that? How insane? And again, it's not really in important who the person is that he's probably allegedly being involved in all that sort of nonsense because we don't know. But it's the fact that this is even being entertained. The fact that it, it even makes any much, any bit of sense just because they happen to live next door to each other says a lot about how far Kim, I mean, sorry, Kanye West's star has fallen over the years. He's not the guy we all fell in love with, um, you know, back in the day, maybe a few years ago, even. He's a completely different person and so much so that he's gotten himself involved in or allowed his name to be attached with next to people that he should have no business, they should have no business even being in the same room as. Um, it's really, really insane absolutely absolutely insane now, again it could be complete bullshit it could just be that they you know decided to call it quits because they've grown apart or they've got different goals and they're doing different things whatever it may be and it might have nothing to do with him whatsoever but just the mere fact that this is even being discussed is just ugh. Yeah, what, what what a way to how far his star has fallen over the years how far his star has fallen no pun intended and then of course in true trolley fashion um jeffrey star decided to upload this picture kind of taking advantage of the entire situation um on the following it's got a picture of him uh with obviously the it looks like i'm gonna say hair dyed in the sort of lgbt colors sort of style and the caption says i'm ready for sunday service like what a way to end an absolutely crazy story and again i don't think I, I i don't think i don't know if it's true who knows you know what i mean celebrities are odd you know it could be it could be true it could be not true it doesn't necessarily matter it's just the fact that this story has even got legs and people are actually believing it says a lot about kanye's current situation and in general like people are, uh, people are saying now at the moment oh yeah this means he's gonna create a best his best album to date what makes you think that the best verse I've heard of Kanye so far has been his feature on the Khan, on what the Playboy Carti album. And that wasn't even that great, right? That's his best thing I've heard from him in a while. That and maybe Kids See Ghost. Kanye probably not ever going to reach the heights of My Beautiful Dark to Fancy ever again because he's just too rich. He's got too many things that he's kind of preoccupied with outside of music. And it makes complete sense. No one that makes the Yeezy 700s or the Yeezy Boost 350s or whatever else he does with the Yeezy line to that level of kind of expertise and genius is going to be able to somehow take that same level, that same creative spark and apply it to music because all of his energies, all of his resources are being directed at fashion, at building an infrastructure, building a, you know, building a corporation, um, um, you know, redesigning athletic wear, uh, retail, obviously with the Yeezy and Gap thing that he's doing, merchandising, that he's kind of all that create, all that sort of, brilliance that we are seeing in the shoes that's what should have been applied to the music but it's never going to happen because music's like you know it's taking a back seat to everything else he's doing so this idea that somehow because he's breaking up with kim and he's going to be now single that he's going to create some of his best work because it's going to be coming from a point of heartbreak similar to 808s and heartbreak is very very naive and short-sighted i've not seen anything from kanye musically in the last few years to give me any hope that he's going to ever going to be the artist we knew and love and again as a person he's just completely changed he's evolved he's kind of grown up he's got different experiences he's amassed an, am an amount of wealth that for probably somebody like Kanye with his sort of like narcissistic brain is the worst thing for him personally because no one can legitimately tell him shit you know he's got that song no one can tell me nothing no one can tell Kanye anything and this is probably the dangerous it's probably it's more dangerous for him than anybody else because there's no one to kind of pull him to a side let him know to you know to kind of maybe take this or maybe offer some suggestions he can just kind of steamroll through things surround himself with yes men not ever be accountable to anybody and just keep giving the fans subpar after subpar after subpar work and again I'm, I'm over it man there's a lot more artists out there i can go and support i don't need to kind of keep subjecting myself to this bullshit so i'd much rather just listen to the people that i want to listen to and maybe hold the memory of kanye that i have in my head without subjecting myself to all the other new shit he's putting out there so again who knows it's all legend it could be true it could not be true but it's just sad to see how far his star has fallen he's gone from being a loving family man you know to speaking so highly about his wife at every turn you know wanting to you know um 
build a big family for the jump, right? They've got four kids straight out of the block. They didn't ramp around. He even spoke about having more kids. And then now suddenly he's embroiled in this messy divorce um, with one of the messiest people on social media and Jeffree Star, allegedly. It's just a complete and utter horror show. And hopefully they work it out. If not, say la vie. Say la vie.